Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. Friends, in the previous video, we have seen what is DAG and how it works in Apache Spark. In today's video, we will see what is DAG and what is Lineage in Apache Spark. This is the most commonly asked interview questions in Spark interviews. Okay. So, if you see the diagram here, this is DAG and this is Lineage. So, DAG as we have seen in the previous video is a representation of Spark job as a series of task dependencies. It provides an optimized execution plan for data processing tasks in Spark enabling efficient parallelism and eliminating unnecessary computations. Now what is lineage? Lineage refers to the process of tracking the lineage of history of data transformations in Spark. It allows us uh, the fault tolerance and uh, RDD recovery by storing the information needed to recreate the lost or corrupted RDDs. So if you see here in the DAG we, will, we have already seen this. So it will have different stages, different tasks and all that right. So when you are uh, when your uh, spark application is running if you check the tag it will show clearly uh, the task details like for that particular job how many stages are there how many tasks are created so here uh, whenever there is a white transformation a new stage will be created right with that we will come to know how many white transformations that we have and also under the sql tab if you see the tag right it will show uh, like how many records uh, that we are processing, what is the size of the data, all those details we can see in the DAG. Means it is the optimized ex execution plan for data processing uh, tasks in Spark. And coming to the lineage, right, it will have the connection like from RDD1, RDD2 because RDDs are immutable, right? So when you create, uh, when you are applying one transformation on one RDD or data frame, it will create another uh, RDD or data frame only. It will not uh, return any other thing. So, uh, when you are having that kind of kind of series of steps, uh, so lineage will be created like that. So, why here when I mention this uh, fault tolerance slide, right? If uh, any, uh, uh, while, run, while your Spark job is running, if any um, step is failed, it will immediately using the lineage, it will immediately recompute the lost RDDs from the previous step okay that is the this is how the DAG and uh, lineage looks like so uh, when we compare this uh, DAG and lineage right so what is the purpose and functionality DAG optimizes the execution plan while lineage enables the fault tolerance and RDD recovery so what is the advantage of DAG we can have if it will provide efficient parallelism eliminates unnecessary computations and improves the performance and advantages of lineage coming to this one fault tolerance data recoverability handles data lineage complexities so in the DAG if you take right what exactly it does we have seen in the previous diagram so what it does task decomposition will happen means the spark job is broken down into series of smaller tasks or stages dependency tracking will be done as DAG keeps uh, track of the dependencies between the tasks and optimizes their execution order and efficient parallelism means the tasks are executed in parallel across a distributed cluster for pro pro faster processing and if you take the lineage right so here lineage tracks the sequence of data transformations applied to the RDDs and it also provides the checkpointing means intermediate RDDs are periodically checkpointed to enable the fault tolerance and if any rtd is lost or corrupted lineage enables its recreation using the recorded transformations that is what this rtd recovery means hope this video is useful for you friends thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings